dan salam jatera. Hai, anda bersama saya Nisa. Baru-baru ini kami berkesempatan berkunjung ke Cafe Cyber Orange Internet Cafe. Ha, kalau kalian nak tahu, Cafe Cyber yang terkenal dengan nama Orange inilah yang telah menyatukan lima anak muda Malaysia untuk memenangi tempat ketiga dalam kejohanan Dota 2 di Seattle, Amerika beberapa minggu yang lepas. Industri kafe cyber telah berkembang dengan pesat sejak tahun 2000. Kafe cyber yang pada mulanya menawarkan servis untuk melayari internet sahaja telah berkembang menjadi pusat permainan komputer. Meskipun kadangkala menerima maklum balas tidak positif terutamanya dalam kalangan ibu bapa kerana menjadi tempat untuk pelajar sekolah berpeleseran namun ia tidak menghalang industri ini dari mendapat perhatian masyarakat apabila Orange melalui pasukan yang ditajanya memenangi pertandingan bertaraf antarabangsa. Kami telah menemu ramah Encik Frank Eng, pengarah urusan dari Orange Esports berkenaan hari ini. Sekarang sudah ada 32 branch, semua dekat uh, Kuala Lumpur dan Selangor. Dan uh, syarikat uh, Orange Tech Cafe sudah 11 tahun. Ya. Yang ini macam uh, mamak lah, culture mamak, culture uh, sabak. Uh, ada ka kalau uh, semua youngsters pergi sabak tadi tu tak baik oh ada yang uh, budak yang tidak terpaya pergi mama together with their friends uh, lepas sekolah lepas study tak baik ke so this is the culture is the budaya Malaysia yang unik lah uh, kerana ramai masalah masalah memang tak faham tau kenapa uh, uh, malam atau larut malam ada orang boleh duduk luar minum Teh tarik, etc. Uh, masalah memang tak faham, tapi memang budaya unik uh, Malaysia. But playing games dalam internet cafe memang is something like uh, bergaul dengan kawan, uh, just like macam dekat Sabak. Uh. It can be good like kalau kita buat benda yang betul. No, it is good. It is good. If you compare, nah, sekarang, now today, nah, all the remaja, masalah remaja, mak rempit lah, or other uh, yang tak baik. Uh. Playing games in internet cafe is, a, is, is something good. Indeed, ah, ada setengah ibu bapa yang actually, especially those working class yang ada kerja, they actually have peace in mind putting their kids in internet cafe because they know that at least this is a public area, ah, tempat umum yang people boleh look after and not something something bad. Yeah. I think everything comes down to timing lah, masa tu, kerana masa tu Orange Internet Cafe nak buat marketing and kami juga nak buat tournament because uh, we see ya uh, uh, ada banyak tournament dekat internet cafe tapi mereka pun yang tournament tu uh, skill kecil aja uh, and they are not well done so masa saya start orange e-sport we started uh, mula bermulai dengan tournament Dota tournament CS tournament bla 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 after i run a few tournaments uh, I, then i i bersedar kenapa tak saya sponsor team because sponsor team is something that uh, really ya uh, We have other uh, opportunities. Really, we can represent Malaysia. Pergi bertanding dengan luar negeri uh, to mengharumkan uh, nama Malaysia. Uh. So, masa saya bermulai, saya saya actually Orange Esports sponsor lima team: uh, Dota, CS, Horn, LOL, League of Legends, dan COD4. Uh, so, over the last few years, uh, we actually send them to represent Malaysia to compete in overseas. Like COD4, mereka pernah pergi uh, India tau. Uh, Bombay, dia menang tempat pertama. Uh, uh, our LL team pernah pergi WCG dekat Korea. Uh, so, yeah, of course, our famous Dota team and CSGO, CS team, uh, they went a lot, uh, banyak bertanding di Singapore. And our Horn team, uh, Hero of New World, mereka pernah bertanding dekat Dreamhack dekat Sweden. Dua ta- sudah dua kali uh, tahun lepas. Uh, it's a good start, ha, formula yang baik untuk e-sports. Uh, sekarang pun uh, men- Menteri uh, Youth and Sports Ministry uh, YB Harry Jamaluddin actually give a recognition untuk team uh, Orange Esports. Mereka diberi satu jaket uh, apa tu? Jaket uh, house, uh, jaket house ha, harimau uh, to recognize them as a sportsman. Uh. 
Ah, uh, uh, walaupun undang-undang di Malaysia belum actually recognize ah uh, uh, e-sport as a sport, uh, but uh, banyak uh, negara macam uh, Amerika Syarikat, uh, China dan Korea mereka sudah recognize ah uh, e-sport as a sport. Uh, it's very important kerana hanya all these recognition from the ministry ah uh, will akan menolong pasukan-pasukan e-sport dapat penaja uh, penajaan uh, untuk uh, keluar bertanding di luar negeri. Ini memang macam audition lah. Macam-macam audition lah. When I pick teams, at first I pick, I hanya pilih apa game yang Malaysia ada chance. Uh, itu sangat mustahak. So, after I pick the game, I bought audition lah. So, I say, I say, Dota, what are the best team in Malaysia in Dota? They are looking for sponsor. So when I, when I publish this news, people start uh, send me email, hantar or oh, mereka berminat lah nak jadi sponsor. So I shortlist tiga empat. I suruh mereka datang sini buat audition, face to face interview. What is your plan? What uh, what do you think will be? Who are the players? Who are the managers? Uh, what uh, what is your aspiration? Uh, your aspiration nak jadi apa? Nak jadi jago tak kampung uh, or whatever. So. After I pick the the games, I pick the players, pasukan. I trust them. I percayakan uh, captain tu. Macam in this case, Mushi. Uh, I trust Mushi. Mushi can pick the players yang dia mau dia mau nak play with, train with. Uh, it's all about them. So I trust them. By the way, I'm not a gamer. I don't know how to play games. Uh, no, I don't play games. I don't say I don't play games. I'm no time for games. But I support this esports uh, for my country, lah, uh, Malaysia. Uh, macam saya yang uh, beritahu uh, YB Kyrie ya uh, Malaysia best chance is in Dota 2, CS:GO dan League of Legends. I really really hope that uh, lebih banyak uh, sponsor, corporate sponsor will come to sponsor all these teams, not necessarily only Orange Sport. Uh, and uh, we also hope that uh, Kementerian pun akan organise uh, lebih banyak program uh, bawa rakan muda instead of pertandingan uh, tiap tiap tahun, sedikit tiap tiap bulan lah. Uh, Uh, I'm sure a lot of remaja muda di Malaysia mereka berminat nak bertanding uh, ber, ber, bersambilan dengan kawan dia uh, play the team uh, train a good spirit what is teamwork uh, pasukan spirit pasukan all these things it's good for our country and this game means so much it means you're in the grand finals and it's also one map which is a difference it's going to earn you $300,000 I can't even imagine playing for that much money Look at his face. <laughs> He's like, yeah, we got this. <laughs> Tom gets Here we go. A lot more. They're going to find each other. 5v5 engagement. Bushy comes in. And then BKB's going to pop. Crystal's up on him. Oh, higher. Back in to a four man stun. And then the follow up stun is DK being absolutely impaled. And Zumba will go down to 14 1 GG. GG. Tom Fu has been eliminated. Are gonna finish in the top three. Yeah, I don't I mean, really. Navi is immensely talented and they're so extremely good. I would favor them on any day, but after seeing Orange's performance yesterday, I think it's anyone's game. There we go, there we go. We got the energy going. <laughs> good luck, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. it out now be big smile for both these teams play completely amazing making it all the way here Navi gonna be going on oh, look at the respect given to Mushi as oh, well yeah. it's the wonderful thing while we play of the top quality Dota these guys can still remain friends Lee Kong Yang KYXY Kuala Lumpur Malaysia Chai Yifong Mushi 
Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Lim Wai Ban, Net, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Ku Chong Sing, Ohio, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Joel Chan Janel, Exting, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Untuk makluman para penonton semua, pasukan Orange Esports Malaysia telah memenangi tempat ketiga dalam kejohanan Dota 2 The International dan merangkul wang ganjaran sebanyak RM930,000 Malaysia. Banyak tu. Jadi mari kita tanya salah seorang pemain yang mendapat perhatian ramai iaitu Chai Yi Fung atau lebih dikenali dengan nama Mushi. Uh, at first, I, I can see their talent. Uh, actually, beside them, there's a lot of a lot more player has talent in Malaysia. But I can see their attitude is very good and they put the effort in the esports. Uh, I think it's uh, eight or eight eight years ago. Uh, when I still studying. How did you start playing Dota? Is it because of friends or you just boring and you want to test something new? Uh, actually, the time is uh, like after the school, my friends say, eh, let's go play game in Cyber Cafe. And then they ask me to play Dota or mm -hmm. just play. Mm, first time, I think it's almost seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seven years ago. Yeah. So, did you win or? No. Uh, I never get a champion after I play for two years, I think. In Malaysia only, never. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely very hard. Mm. So, Because, could you share some of your experience? Uh, okay. As some, like, um, every country has their own play style. I can make uh, some example like China. They play very stable and they train every day also. But one of the weakness point is um, they don't like to change much. They just very stable. So this year I think this is the point. This is the why. This is the what the reason they cannot get top three in the international. So in Europe, right? Uh, the last three years, they cannot get any good result in the international. I mean, Europe, Europe, Western, West, West. Uh, because the play style is changing a lot also, and they cannot play very stable. So this year, they very surprised everyone because they very stable and they learn everything from every country like China, like South Asia. So. Uh, from some Asians also, we we also always learning from other things, but we also have our own strategy. Yeah, I think it's very good uh, because even I'm still in Seattle, right? I can see the response in Malaysia or everywhere. Yeah. Actually, professional gamer is not so easy, but don't get up. Yeah, just believe yourself. If you think you can do it, then sure you can. Beberapa peminat Dota 2 juga turut berpeluang bertemu dengan para pemain Dota 2 The International wakil Malaysia ini. Jadi mari kita temu ramah salah seorang daripada mereka. Okay, uh, kenakan nama macam tadi? Uh, nama saya Noh Hairi Kemudin. Uh, saya dah lama main Dota dan Dota juga. Dalam game orang kenal saya sebagai uh, E4. Okay, kenapa main Dota? Kenapa macam bila-bila start tu kenapa kawan-kawan pengaruh ke apa? Uh, sebenarnya ada juga lah pengaruh kawan kan uh, Tapi saya sebenarnya Saya dah main dulu Lama dah dulu Tapi tak minat Lepas tu bila lama-lama Jumpa ada seorang kawan ni Dia ajak main kan bila Lama saya ikut jugalah kan Sebab seronok kan Dengan main dengan kawan-kawan So dari situ minat tu berkembang lah uh. Ada geng lah Kena ada geng lah Mereka boleh main kan Untuk uh, tim Malaysia yang menang Di Dota tu di International uh, Antara lima saya Siapa yang paling minat? Oh, of course lah Fan favourite uh, Mushi lah Kenapa ingin minat Mushi? Uh, saya lah sebab uh, dia seorang kapten yang bagus lah. Uh, pada mulanya saya tak berapa minat sangat orang ini. Saya minat tim lain sebenarnya. Tapi bila saya, <laughs> tapi bila saya tengok uh, 
uh, orange eh uh, daripada uh, boleh bagi nak kata orange daripada tim uh, negara sendiri kan so orange ni makin lama makin bagus eh especially bushi dia jadi kat dia dia punya uh, draft, draft drafting skill semua dah naik so saya kagum lah saya saya memang boleh pergi jauh lah okey kita nak ada dengan Dota tu di international dia ada live streaming so ada guide you stay up untuk tengok live streaming and what do you think about the game oh mestilah kena stay up lah sebab uh, dekat uh, bila dia orang uh, broadcast dekat sana kat US kan dia orang siang ke malam so kita kena kalau nak tengok live kena berjaga lah kalau tak kalau ada kerja ke apa, mengantuk ke apa, boleh tengok replay. Macam mana pendapat awak tentang uh, dia punya game? Tim Malaysia melawan apa tim-tim antarabangsa yang lain? Oh memang hebat lah. Kalau sebagai uh, player Dota dari negara sendiri, ada tim uh, sendiri macam Orin kan. Kita betul betul bangga lah sebab Orin main memang bagus, serius. Memang bagus. Okey, ada yang cakap, okey, lepak kat CC Cyber Cafe, buang masa main game tu. Tapi bila dah ada tim Orin yang menang pertandingan antarabangsa, awak dah tengok tak? Oh, saya rasa benda semua lepak buang masa tu semua bila kita buat benda tak ada tujuan eh? So kalau kita ada structure, kita ada kawan-kawan, kita plan betul-betul kan Kita macam-macam kita boleh buat Kalau tak main professional pun, kita boleh uh, beriadah dengan kawan-kawan semua kan Banyaklah ke faedah main sport ha. Jadi itulah sedikit perkongsian dari Encik Frank dan juga Mushi berkenaan e-sport yang semakin berkembang di Malaysia Diharapkan pihak berwajib juga memberikan sokongan padu terhadap e-sport kerana ia akan membuka potensi besar bagi mereka yang berbakat dalam arena ini. Sekian dari saya Nisa, majulah e-sport untuk negara. Yosh!